afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I'm going to post again the prof prophecy number nine spoken by our beloved Father God Yahweh. And the title is <clears throat> Preach It, Teach It, Cause Others to Believe It. That is the title. And I will always mention the verse in the second book of Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 16. Before I begin this, he has always wanted to have this repeatedly said. And it says, But the mock, the messengers of God, despised his words and scoffed at his prophets until the wrath of the Lord rose again against his people till there was no remedy. So that is in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 36 verse 16. So now he said, my beloved one, I know your heart and those that judge you falsely do not know what they are speaking of. I am your judge and jury not those who hold court without my permission. Step aside and do not ask why, for if they do not defend you now in small things, they will not defend you later in big issues. You are my beloved, and those that hold court against you without any evidence will see that I am not pleased. I brought you to the site to encourage you and to soothe your ravaged heart. For you and I know the pain you feel. The rejection is not for you, though, but they are rejecting a part of me. You have your sense of humor, for I have given you that sense of humor. I called you and ordained you just as you are. You have been given the gift of laughter to help ease the burdens of yours as well as others. Laughter doth good like a good medicine, but even laughter and humor have a balance. I'm not in the movement of the churches where foolish demons manifest and make fools out of my people. Beware where anything is going on, any manifestations that you could not picture your Yeshua partaking in. Does your God bark like a dog, mew like a cat, grow like a lion, and mock my own word without the Holy Spirit, humiliate anyone, and cause people to be uncontrollable to the point of being disruptive? This demonic manifestation and worse is allowed to continue, and they cannot even distinguish the genuine moving of my Holy Spirit and the counterfeit moving of the anti-Messiah. Those that stand behind the pulpits and think themselves wise are behaving so foolishly, opening themselves up in the congregation up for demonic manifestations and possession and oppression. Deliverance must be done and house cleaning of my temples from who were called the most respected spiritual leaders of today. Because of this foolishness, I am now gathering troops around the world. I never close a door without opening another. Do not think this is the ending, for it is merely a beginning of a bigger work I am going to use you for. Do not change for anyone but for the Almighty God Yahweh you serve. You cannot please all the people all the time. So quit trying. In your heart you know what is right. Just continue to do it. Listen for my people. <coughs> Just me. Listen for my voice. Speak my words. I do not judge or condemn you but those that have falsely accused you will be judged. You forgive them, for they were used by the enemy of your soul, and they knew it not. New wine and old wine 
cannot and never will mix. The new wine I have filled you with to overflowing will burst the container if you try and mix the old and new. The old wine wants no part of the new wine. Do not grieve for that what you think you have lost, for you have lost nothing that I will not give you back even more. Pressed down and shaken together and running over, you will be blessed. You must let loose of the old anointing to make way for the new anointing. Keep your ears and eyes open and speak what I tell you to say, though you will be judged harshly. You know my voice, and you have the boldness of John the Baptist to speak forth my words. When you think you are stepping down for me, you have really just stepped up and forward. Do not grieve for yourself, but grieve for those that I will chastise for causing my little one such grief and sorrow. Grieve for those that have accused you falsely. I love you, my beloved, and only I know your heart. It pants after me like a deer pants for water. When you suffer persecution for my name's sake, you are truly blessed. The servant is not above his master. I suffered persecution especially from those that call themselves religious, and so do you. I know their hearts like I know those that judge you falsely. Keep your hands innocent of wrath and let me take vengeance. For if they don't repent before me, then they will see vengeance is mine, saith Yahweh, and I will truly repay. Do not judge me by the way others who claim they represent me judge you. You are my beloved and my warrior, and I have called thee and ordained thee, and no one can take that from you. The road of a prophet is paved with triumphs and tribulations and sorrow, misunderstandings. So few really want to hear what the Almighty God Yahweh to say has to say. They want to believe I am only love and mercy and forget I am who I am and I am also a God of balance in all things. That means along with love and mercy, I am balanced with wrath and judgment, and yes, hatred, so many forget that I have wrath and hatred for my enemies. Doesn't my word say, Jacob I have loved, Esau I have hated? Doesn't my word say, blessings to those that obey, curses to those that disobey? You must preach who I am in completeness, not just the side of Yahweh that doesn't offend, but the side of Almighty God Yahweh that does offend many. Sin is sin, and I have not wavered or changed, nor shall I ever. Look at Revelation chapter 19 and Revelation chapter 20. How few understand, I was the slain lamb, but once. I was a victim, but once. For you, I became the victim. Imagine. But now I am no longer that meek, mild lamb. When I come again to destroy those that oppose me and holiness, you will see I am almighty even in war. My children need not fear, but my enemies will tremble and do tremble, for they know I am a God that will take vengeance on my enemies. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I have held back my rage, building it for that day. None will stand in my way. Preach it, 
teach it so others will believe it. I am a God not only that not only brings salvation but damnation to those that choose to oppose and deny my saving blood and saving name. There is no salvation other than coming through the shed blood of Calvary and through the name of Yeshua Mashiach, that is Jesus Christ, the Messiah in the Bible. I know my children and they know me and I know all those who are my enemies. When they touch you, they touch me. If innocently they have offered you, my children, then I will forgive for the enemy is out to deceive and confuse. But if intentionally they set out to destroy you, tell them, beware. For it is my wrath they will feel breathing down their necks. Only in repentance will again they have my favor. I repeat, this is very true. Only in repentance will again they have my favor. I chastise those that I love. I destroy those that I hate. What is not holy is not of me. No matter who stands behind the pulpit and says, God is love, he will understand. Sin is sin. I am a God that does not change. Man changes. I, the great I am, doesn't change. Preach it. Teach it. So others will believe it. Those that know my voice will recognize I have spoken. All others will remain deaf. For my enemies, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God, Yahweh and Yahshua. At times, yes, I have to spank you, but also my hands shelter, guide, and protect you. My hands for my children who try and obey me have nothing to fear, those that are washed in my saving blood. But those that hate me and hate what I stand for have every reason to tremble, and so they shall. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I have offered you the gift of salvation. Now it's your choice whether to choose salvation or damnation. Choose ye this day which God you will serve. Preach it, teach it, so others will believe it. So, Given to this child warrior, Bride of Yeshua, Mashiach, on the 16th of October, 1997. So, that's the end of this message. And we have to take heed of his word because he meant what he said. It is very clear, his warning. And it was stated here in the book of Revelation 19 and 20. There is not much time to read it. You just please take note of it. So what can I say more that is very clear? I'm doing this in compliance with His will. And because of His unconditional love, to his children, to all humanity. This is to be preached indeed. So God loves you unconditionally and may God bless you and keep you. We love you all. I will pray for you when you read the Bible that you may read in between the lines and understand by heart. Before uh, beginning to read the Bible, just pray a little bit, asking for his understanding. God bless you now. Bye.